I'm Sean Bose, concert visual designer in Los Angeles, California, and this is 90 Second Notch. Today, we're talking about the particle mesh renderer and why the fuck it doesn't work. Alright, so let's say we have a particle system here, and it's looking good, but instead of the point renderer, uh, you want these particles to be actual 3D geometry. So we have our little shape 3D here, but uh, we can't use that. So we'll look for another rendering node. We have the mesh renderer right here. That seems like it might work. So we bring it in, just disable the point renderer, attach that. It needs an object. So that's where we'll put our shape 3D and what the hell it's not it's not working but fear not there's another way it turns out the mesh renderer is obsolete now and we actually don't use it so there's a better way i'll show you how to do it what we're going to use is actually a cloner under the cloners you'll see that there is clone to particles so we'll bring that out and then if we make our shape 3d a child of the cloner and we put our emitter I believe into the particle node of the cloner boom we got some we got some spheres here, but the issue is it doesn't automatically know to use all of the particles. And you can see we actually only have five clones, so that's not cool. But if we crank it up, you can actually go pretty high with this. You'll see we get a bunch of actual 3d object particles and you can use any object in here all right so that's how you can use clone to particles to use geometry in your particle system if you like this video be sure to like and subscribe and come back later for more videos thanks for watching peace